But in the game of life, many of Earth's most winning creatures have neither brawn, nor brain, nor speed. They are so different from us, we barely recognize them as animals. Yet, they are movers and shakers of their own domain. Echinoderms show us that ours is not the only way to be successful as an animal. Even the most familiar of echinoderms can seem strange and alien. The sea star is a headless, faceless wonder, a collection of arms that forms a five-pointed star. Like all echinoderms, its body is based on five-part symmetry. In fact, every echinoderm is a variation on this five-part body plan. Join the sea star's arms together and you get a surprising variation, the basic shape of its close relative, the sea urchin. The five arms have become a five-part sphere. Turn the urchin on its side and give its body a good stretch, you've created a sea cucumber. The five-part sphere has become a five-part tube. Under the surface, echinoderms are equally unusual. The sea star skeleton is nothing like our own. Just beneath the skin lies a latticework made up of thousands of bony platelets. They're woven together by minuscule muscles which can flex the arms in any direction. They have incredible strength and endurance. A special protein allows them to lock their arms in position effortlessly for hours, something our muscles could never do. Instead of a brain, echinoderms have a nerve ring, a living relay station. It acts to coordinate the movements of their arms. How do creatures built on such a simple design, so different from our own complex bodies, manage to survive and even thrive? For over half a billion years, they've evolved radical solutions to life's challenges. They are a modern-day evolutionary success. Urchins are grazers, munching their way through submarine pastures of plants and algae. Along the California coast, urchins can reach plague proportions. They have a voracious appetite for giant kelp. Seen in time-lapse, urchins spring into eerie life, devouring anything edible in their path. Urchins don't have eyes, so they can't see where they're going but they do have sensory tube feet, which wave to and fro, tasting the water for anything good to eat. The feet act like a bucket brigade, passing the food from one sticky sucker to the next, pulling the meal relentlessly toward the powerful, star-shaped jaw that awaits underneath. It makes short work of the tender kelp, neatly scissoring it into bite-sized pieces. When urchin populations are high, the persistent nibbling of their armies can mow down an entire kelp forest within a matter of months. Like their cousins, the urchins, sea cucumbers have a powerful impact on their world. These vacuum cleaners of the deep lumber across sea floors the world over. 
In the deep sea, these unassuming creatures make up the vast majority of animals on the ocean floor. Everywhere they go, these animals help themselves to a banquet hidden in the sand. Specially modified tube feet continuously shovel sand into their mouths. Sand rich in organic matter, which they digest. The leftovers are ejected in the familiar manner. Legend has it that every grain of ocean sand has, at one time or another, passed this way. Brittle stars can cover vast expanses of the sea floor, forming a fuzzy living carpet. These smallest echinoderms often make up in numbers for what they lack in size. But though they may appear more like plants than animals, their writhing bodies betray their true nature. For these are not flowers of the deep, these are patient predators. They catch their prey by waving their feathery arms through the water, plucking plankton from the current. Echinoderms move and feed like no other animals on Earth. They use remarkable organs, completely unique in the animal kingdom, hydraulically powered tube feet. The tube feet of sea stars are inflated by water, drawn into the body through a single opening called a sieve plate. The water fills the five radial canals which run down the length of the arms, forming a hydraulic system. The water is stored in little muscular bulbs. When a bulb contracts, it forces water into the elastic tube foot, extending it. Muscles on the foot swing it in the direction the sea star wants to move. Sea stars can move equally well in any direction, but they must coordinate the movement of thousands of feet. Used together, they have incredible strength. Clustered at the tip of each arm are special sensory tube feet that taste the water, seeking food or sensing danger. The tip of each arm is also equipped with a light-sensing organ, seen here as a red dot. This receptor cannot form images, but it can sense light and darkness. Although their sensory system may seem simplistic compared to ours, it hasn't stopped the sea star from being a fearsome predator. The sea stars will find their next meal higher up on the pilings of a man-made pier, a feast of mussels. Like an advancing army, the sea stars move into position, slowly but surely working their way up toward their victims. The pilings provide a solid surface to which whole colonies of mussels cling. The mussels cannot run or fight. All they can do is hide within their shells as their killers crawl over their bodies. Sensory tube feet sweep over the tightly packed mass of shells, searching for any gap in the mussels' defenses. Settling on its victim, the first wave of the assault begins with the tube feet, which use hydraulic pressure to pry open any gaps in the mussel's shell. Next, the sea star deploys its most unusual weapon, its stomach, which moves out of its body to digest its prey alive.
Once the tube feet have physically breached the muscle's defensive line, the sea star's translucent stomach begins the final assault. The miniature camera tucked within the muscle's shell gives us the first look ever at the carnage that unfolds here every day. The animal actually pushes its stomach inside the muscle's shell, unfolding like a fatal flower. The stomach unleashes a volley of chemical weapons, digestive juices that dissolve the muscle's soft pink flesh. All that's left is a nutrient-rich soup, a broth that's quickly absorbed by the sea star. Having assimilated the muscle, the sea star stomach pulls away, and the animal moves on, leaving behind an empty shell. This is Pycnopodia, a giant among sea stars. It can have more than 20 arms and grow larger than a manhole cover. It is clearly recognized by the other animals in this community as a force to be reckoned with. As Pycnopodia makes its way among the rocks, it picks up the trail of two snails. Realizing they are under attack, the snails make a run for their lives. Finding itself in Pycnopodia's clutches, one snail desperately tries to twist itself free. It escapes, but not for long. Caught in Pycnopodia's fatal embrace, the snail will be swallowed whole. Animal evolution has taken many roads on planet Earth. Perhaps we shouldn't ask which road is best, but how each leads to a unique approach to life. Animals radically different from us, but no less successful at surviving. Each in its own right is one of life's ultimate survivors.